are you? My name is Sarah from Sarah's Reading Nook and today we are going to be talking about my three favorite Christmas books and these are three books that if you read them you will be so deep into the mood of Christmas it'll be so before we start I just want to remind you to like and subscribe and there will be quite a few bookmas videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So if you don't want to miss them, then make sure that your notifications are on. Just press the bell, that one. So we are going to start with one of the books that I read, not just during Christmas, but during different times in the year. And I read this book during different times of the year because sometimes you're in July or you're in June and all you want to do is have Christmas. Just me, perhaps. <laughs> And the book is not like a typical Christmas book, but I just get like all of the feelings, all of the like comforting, awesome feelings that come along with Christmas whenever I read this book. I've read it in French, I've read it in English, I gotta read it in Portuguese. Maybe I'll read it in Portuguese this year. And the book I am describing to you is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. I know I've mentioned this book many times before, but it is one of my all-time favorites. I reread it every year, or at least try to reread it every year. So I'm sure you've heard of this book before, but in case you have not, this book centers around the Pevensies, the children of the Pevensies who go to live in a house with, I believe, their uncle who is a professor. What is he a professor of? We don't really know. But the feeling that you get is that he is someone who is quite wise and somewhat mysterious. Now there are four children, Susan, Peter, Edmund, and little Lucy. And Lucy is definitely the most curious of the bunch. So one day, the children are playing hide and seek in this extremely large house. <laughs> And Lucy, who is the youngest, goes and finds a wardrobe. She chooses that wardrobe to hide. In she goes, and out she exits into a wonderful, snowy place. And what lies ahead of her may include a little bit of magic, a little bit of adventure, and a lot of secrets waiting to be told. Now, the entire Chronicles of Narnia is wonderful but especially this one. So if you are looking for a book to read during this time of year, which showcases an adventure, is a light read, and something that you can definitely read within the month, I would pick The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. Now we're going to move into crankier, sassier territory. <laughs> It's How the Grinch Stole Christmas by none other than Dr. Seuss. It is a simple book. It is a quick book, but also it is, dare I say, one of the best. If for some reason you have not actually read the book but only have watched the cartoon, I highly suggest that you go pick this up and read it as soon as you can. <laughs> The story of How the Grinch Stole Christmas, do I even need to say it? How the Grinch Stole Christmas shows Cindy Lou Who, who lives in Whoville, one night, a green, scrunchy character slithers down the chimney and starts to pick cans of food and packages and other items that are at Cindy Lou Who's home. Now, Cindy Lou Who is like, who is this? What is he doing? Why is he taking things? And how could somebody be doing this? Especially, how could Santa Claus be doing this? Because the green creature is dressed as Santa. And the book starts much earlier than that, and you are told and shown exactly why this Grinch is so Grinchy. And can he ever change? Now, I love that book. It is nostalgic. It is Christmas. To me, it is almost the definition of it. <laughs> Again, a book that you can easily read within the month, within the day <laughs> before Christmas. And I recommend it for everyone. I know I'm going to be reading it 
as soon as I can. And finally, the last book is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Again, if you have only watched the movie, I highly recommend that you read the book. There are illustrated versions, there are non-illustrated versions, and it is written by, in my opinion, the greatest author ever. <laughs> so in this book, Ebenezer Scrooge is the scroogiest, crankiest guy ever. He does some accounting, and apparently all the money that he makes needs to be kept within his pocket. He doesn't want to share. In fact, if he doesn't give to the poor, he feels that there are too many people to begin with. He is that cruel. And one night, he is visited by three ghosts who attempt to show him a different way of living. Namely, how he has lived in the past, how he is living in the future, and what harm that causes others, and also what will happen if he continues this way. Now, I'm going to be reading this month, and that reading vlog is going to be on all of the Christmas comforts. This is one of my favorite books ever, and there is nothing more comforting to me than going back to a book, traveling down a path known before, <laughs> sipping on a warm, cozy mug of hot chocolate, and revisiting the human Grinch, Ebenezer Scrooge. that is everything for today. I hope that you are doing well. I hope that you'll read these books because if you do, I am along for the ride with you. I believe there are some others who will be reading A Christmas Carol. So let me know below if you are going to be reading it because that is a book I could talk about for hours. And I have talked about it quite a bit on my channel. But hey, I like to reread books. So I will mention my favorite time and time again. And now I have to leave you with a Portuguese word of the day. The Portuguese word of the day is dia. O dia. Dia means day. That's everything for today. Bye!